cerebral palsy is a leading cause of childhood disability. There is no cure for it, but supportive treatment, medications and surgery can help many individuals to improve their motor skills and ability to communicate with the world. GBC 24's Mavis Ofei Champong brings you more on this childhood disability. 16-year-old Madeline is among the many children suffering from cerebral palsy, a condition that mostly affects children. It is a neurological disorder that appears in infancy or early childhood and permanently affects the body movement and muscle coordination. It is caused by a damage to the developing brain that disrupts the brain's ability to movement and maintain posture and balance. The damage sometimes is as a result of injury to the brain, either before, during or after birth. Like Madeline, she was not born with the condition, but was detected after age one when she started developing the symptoms, which include weakness in her leg and arms, stiff and tight muscles. According to her mother, Madame Juliana J, Madeline can talk, but it is minimal. I tried to get Madeline to talk, but she just smiled at me. It is very difficult taking care of a child with cerebral palsy. You need someone with a big heart to take care of them. It takes me about 30 minutes to dress her up. Unlike Madeline, who at least can say a word to her mother, Parkwisi can't talk at all. Though his condition has affected his brain, he can hear, react to a scent or call, and is sometimes able to grab a biscuit. According to Parkwisi's mother, Madame Gifti Akuye Lai, he only becomes stable after taking his drugs. She said, access to the drugs are sometimes quite expensive. If you have such a child, you can't work. We plead that the government at least put some of these children with autism, Down syndrome and cerebral palsy on the LEAP program. Health experts say symptoms of cerebral palsy differ in type and severity from person to person and may even change over time depending on which parts of the brain have been injured. Madame Janet Togbo El Ashka, the leader for Passion for Nidi, who presented some bags of rice, sugar, oil, toilet rolls, diapers and soap through the YOA Foundation who support these cerebral palsy mothers, advise parents with children with cerebral palsy to see them as a blessing and not a curse. This donation comes on every year, 12th of June, to mark our, uh, our founder's birthday. The cerebral palsy persons, let us help the parents so that they will care for them. They are special people, every one of them. The facilitator for YOA Foundation, Madame Benedicta Odro, who was grateful for the support from Passion for Needy, said YOA Foundation intends to provide a center that will bring all cerebral palsy children together to assist them through training and relieve their mothers of some of the burdens they go through. It's time that the society accept them. The stigmatization is too much and because of that they don't want them. The cause of cerebral palsy is unknown. But genetic abnormalities, congenital brain, maternal infections, or fatal injury has been associated with this condition. For GBC24, Mavis Affair Champion reporting.